Hi everyone, this is Synfander. Um, this is a tutorial I created to show how you can change some stuff in the mission you generated with the EC mission generator uh, in the full mission editor of IL2 Sturovic. Okay, let's start. I have created a mission uh, on Stalingrad, single mission with a couple of uh, oh, it says uh, PE2s attacking some armor. Now, let's say we want to change the tanks that we are going to attack and also maybe we want to change some, some properties on the planes that we cannot configure in this tool. Okay, first we have to open the full mission editor. Where is it? Well, when you go to the main folder of the IL2 Sturmovik, you'll see a couple of subfolders. One is bin, go in there, and there's another one called editor. And then this one here, ST editor, is the full mission editor. Of course, I have a, uh, a shortcut on my desktop here, which I'm going to click. Okay, in my case, it uh, opens the default test map. If it doesn't do that for you, and it always mi uh, loads the the last mission that you were editing, then go to Tools and unselect this one. Open last used mission on start, and it will save you a lot of time. Anyway, this is the mission editor. So uh, I'm not going to explain what it all does. Uh, I need another hour or so, or maybe two. And besides, there are a couple of good tutorials out there that will help you on your way. Here we just want to make a few changes in the mission we just generated. So let's start. We go to File, Open, and we have to find the mission. So where is it? The location of missions is in the Data subfolder of IL2 Stumovic. And it depends on what kind of mission it is. A single player mission will be in the Missions folder. And a cooperative or dogfight mission will be in the Multiply folder and then in the uh, subsequent Cooperative or Dogfight folder. In our case we have a single mission player single player mission, sorry. So we go to missions. I'm going to select it here and open it. And as you can see it takes some time to load the mission, it has to load the whole map and all the 3D objects on the in there as well. And then of course all the logic we created with the generator. Okay, here it is. So in this case uh, I start out with a actual a 3D view of the world. And you can see that if I zoom in, you can see this is the same environment that you see in the in the game. Uh, of course in this what you see here is not populated with any objects. You can zoom in with the scroll wheel on the mouse and zoom out as well. And with your right mouse uh, click and hold and then move, you can move the, uh, the map around. Now, in this case I see the 3D world. It's also possible that you see a, uh, a map like you see uh, in the game. You can set that here under view. You have the option to go ortho view or GUI map. If I select GUI map, and I see this, let's say the normal map view you have. Now, in this case we're interested actually in the 3D world because if you want to change some some stuff on uh, on objects there, it's, it's nice if you can actually see them. So I'm going back to ortho view. So now, where are the objects? Where's the stuff that we generated that we can then change? Then we have to look up here on the top left side. Here you can see in this uh, this window the whole mission tree. If you click on this plus sign it will expand and what you see here again you see all kinds of plus signs it means that these are groups. If I click on this again it will also open up and then you see that this group um, is yeah, a collection of objects inside of there. In this case it's the blue flight group meaning this is the blue flight so this is for the allies um, Yeah as the planes that we're going to attack the tanks. Now, I see here blue 1, blue 2, blue 3, blue 4. Those are the aircraft uh, in this flight, so in this group. If I click on one, then you see that this window pane is changing and it says plane properties. If I click on here, it's going to be blue 2, click on here, blue 4. Now, 
let's say I want to change this uh, the, 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 the plane type all I have to do is click this button here model and I get a list of all the planes in the game and I can change it let's say I want a different PE2 model if you want to, to change more properties of the plane you, have, you, have, you can do two things you can uh, double click the object here or also in the map if you found it you can also click on this little button here and it will open up the plane advanced window so now you have a lot more yeah, you basically have all the properties of this particular object like the AI level the country you're flying for uh, the skin the weapons the fuel uh, etc so just just take a look and see what you can change and most of the stuff you can change it will not be a problem um, yeah be aware if you're going to click this for instance cooperative start or not that will change that how it if it is available yes or no in a cooperative mission okay I'll let you guys do it to find out what it all does but if you do want to just want to change the, the type then all you need to do is go into this this button now let's do a similar thing for the uh, for the tanks so where are the tanks the tanks in this case its armor is our uh, primary objective now like I said these are all groups and also the objectives uh, are in their own group and the name is like this objective underscore then the type of objective or the target actually in this case armor and then the allied which is the faction that is going to to attack this target so this is the the group we're looking for right? we are the allies we are flying PE2s we're going to attack tanks so objective armor allied is going to be the group we are interested in so I can click on the plus sign and I can see what's in there and indeed there are a lot of tanks in this group now I can do the same thing I just uh, did earlier just click on one on the tank I get a property uh, window I click on model and here are all the tanks and actually it's not just tanks it is, these are all the vehicles um, in the game in the IL2 game and I could change it for let's say um, well let's go for a, a tiger tank Click. so this is the easiest way of changing stuff in the mission um, just yeah, click on the mission tree click on it or double click or use this button and you can also have the advanced so basically all the properties of the object in this case it's a tank so the properties are a little bit different than for an aircraft but uh, most of them are the same like AI level like skin uh, that kind of stuff now, if this is all you want to do you could uh, you could just stop here you could go through all these tanks change them file save and you're done that's it there is a way to select objects, multiple selections at, uh, at the same time and maybe you want to also uh, move them a bit around in the 3D world well if you're interested in that then keep watching what we're going to do is we have to find this object in this 3D map here and then we can start to manipulate it so we could go in here and look for the object name that takes a lot of time it's easier to just uh, yeah, select or double click the object here or the group and the camera will then automatically will be centered on that object so let's see if I click on the tank or double click it I have to say now of course the window pops up as you can see but it also now it centered the the camera uh, on that object if I zoom in zoom in zoom in zoom in yeah there it is and here is the Tiger tank. We just uh, we just changed the type of this tank to a tiger tank. Okay, one thing to be uh, aware of: we are not uh, we don't see the uh, we, we can't really manipulate the tank. We cannot click it or anything. Why not? Because we're not working inside the group. So here you can see a little square object objective armor allied. Again, this is the group. Right? It's the same thing we saw here. Uh, but it's not active how do we make this group active so that we can work in it so there's two ways you can go select it here do right mouse click and say set group as working 
or you can select the group here by clicking on the actual square you can already see the outline of the stuff that's in there right click mouse uh, set group as broken and now you see all the stuff that's inside the group also in this 3D uh, view I can zoom in and here I see all the tanks in this case I think these are the, the Tiger 4's now just as in any other Windows program basically you can just do a multiple select by clicking and then control left click and expand your selection that's what I'm doing here Uh, do we have all the tanks? No, here's one. So these are all the tanks. And in the properties pane here you see there are 11 objects, which I think means I forgot one, yeah, because there should be 12. 12 objects, and here you see the model is multiple, which is correct, because it pens a four, but one of them is a, a, a target tank, so uh, they have multiple types. But don't worry, just click on model, and if I now click on the type I want to have, like the, uh, the Tiger Tank, click OK, and they will all be changed to that same type. See, now they've all become Tigers. Another way, of course, for uh, selecting multiple objects is drawing a rectangle around them. But in this case, it's not very useful, because if I do this, like this, then I'm not selecting the tanks, I'm also selecting all kinds of other stuff, and I cannot now change the uh, the tank properties because the, yeah the editor has no clue what you actually want to change is it the tank or is it maybe this uh, this check zone object or whatever so in this case it's more useful to do the control left click and expand your selection okay that's it I'm gonna stop here because otherwise it will take uh, yeah way too much time there's of course a lot more you can do with the editor uh, like you can light right click, you can go to auto view again and then it will go to the actual 3D view of the tiger and then you can start to do stuff like, hey, maybe I can I want to move it around, I have to select it shift left, you can move it around like this or you can rotate it okay, please look for other tutorials about the mission editor and they will it will be explained or go to the excellent um, document we have uh, by GMT it's also explained in detail how to operate these controls. For now I'm going back to the left here. Again, this is the group. We have just, yeah, let's say, opened it. That's why it's now highlighted. I can collapse it, but it's still active. Uh, it's still, this one is still uh, bold, meaning this is the active group I'm working in. If I want to change it, again, click on something, right click, right mouse click, set group as working. If you want to go back all the way to the to the highest uh, group, I should say, then click on the top one here, set group is working, and we have basically the top level of all the groups. Again, all you need to do is just save, save the mission, and yeah, close the program, and you can start IL2 and start flying. Okay, thank you for watching.